Hello and welcome everyone, La Heart here with part 3 of my Sun Gen Let's Play for Total War 3 Kingdoms. We continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for all your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions, they're all greatly appreciated, do keep them coming. Massive thanks to everyone that left a like on part 2, you guys have once again absolutely smashed the 2000 like target, so all we need to do now in order to get an early hour special at part 5 is to hit 2000 likes on parts 3 and 4. It is of course completely optional, so if you're enjoying the content you do want to see an early hour special at part 5, then feel free to leave a like. But if you're not enjoying the content you don't want to leave a like, then feel free to leave a dislike. So picking things up where we left them last time, I was pondering whether or not I should strike the livestock farm or wait a turn um, to gather more forces. As it turns out, we'll actually need to wait a turn anyway because we can't reach uh, the livestock farm in one go right now with the remainder of our movement points but we should be able to reach it next turn if we, even if we stay where we currently are so i think that's what we'll do because we're currently in our territory so we'll get a bit more replenishment i am going to go into ambush stance just in case we get lucky and draw them to us and ambush them because they do have you know a, a decent force starting off here but it's the garrison at the livestock farm that is the uh, the true threat there's a lot of troops there uh, I am actually going to recruit some extra units in. Quite a few of you suggested I try and grab some cavalry, especially if I'm going to be spending a turn here. I'll get some extra uh, replenishment from mustering as well. So I'm going to go for two units of uh, Sabre Militia Cavalry. And I'm actually going to swap out some of my archers as well for the Sword Guards over here. Give me a slightly stronger front line. I do have enough money to throw in a unit here, but I don't think we'll get enough to make an infantry contingent that worthwhile. So I think th think we'll leave things there for now. Our heir should come of age next, well, hopefully next turn or the few turns after that, uh, who I've been calling Sun Si. Apparently it's pronounced closer to Sun Shu, or at least hopefully that's uh, sounding uh, better now that way anyway, Sun Shu. So yes, he should come of age any moment now, and when he does, I will recruit him and probably his mother as well, who's a commander, uh, and then we will start going for the tea house, armor craftsman, and trade port that are all part of this um, Changsha commandery, because we do need to expand. We've been playing it a little bit too slow. A couple of you guys pointed out the lumber yard is rather unhappy. That is primarily because it's out of reserves, out of supplies. And that's due to the food shortage, which should be resolved uh, next turn when we get this building, the Land Surveying Office, plus one food production. That'll take us to zero, so at least we'll be balanced on that. But uh, yeah, I think that's all we need to worry about for now, so let's end the turn. Also, massive thanks to everyone that was correcting my pronunciation on who I was calling um, Liu Wow. It's Liu Biao, apparently. Uh, which makes way more sense. So yes, do keep the pronunciation suggestions coming. They are greatly appreciated, especially with all that sort of phonetic uh, spelling and what have you. It does help a great deal. And yes, here we go. Sun Shu has come of age. Good, good. We can take a look at him here. He's a vanguard. Legendary character already, the Little Conqueror. Get some rather nice um, increase stats from that as well, plus 100 charge bonus for cavalry, faction-wide. Nice. And plus 15% melee damage for all shock cavalry. Oh, I should have gone for shock cavalry then, actually. That would have been good. But yes, he will lead our next army. We don't quite have enough our, uh, money to do that just yet. But um, hopefully soon. So yeah, we've got the, the Bamboo Woodcutters camp. That just finished upgrading. So that's all good. It's got um, more reserves. Good. Good. And yeah, it's increasing now because our food isn't negative anymore. So, there we go. Actually, speaking of Liu Biao, um, we can actually, I'm pretty sure, peace out with him. But if I do that, then my war will end with his vassals. Um, Wang Zhu, I think, is actually a fair bit stronger than... Uh, Kai Mao. So, we might peace out after we take this livestock farm. Plus, it kind of makes sense to pause our attack on Liu Biao uh, after we take this livestock farm because that will complete our commandery and then that will give us more time to go after the rest of the uh, Changsha commandery. But we'll, we'll see what these guys have after this battle, which we are going to dive straight on into right now. Here we go. The Tiger Strikes. Ooh, 4,231 against us. Bloody heck. 
That's quite a lot. We do have trebuchets, so we should be able to draw them to us. But we are down 1,300 odd men. 3,400. Apparently going to be a close defeat. The tiger will strike. Okay. Alright, so little farms dotted around the place can't actually move through them, so we could try and utilize them. We could try and form between them, perhaps. Because that'll sort of secure our flanks utilizing those. Um have my archers. My archers out in front to start with. We'll put all of my spears into turtle formation. I'm hoping that, again, superior formations will help us win the day. Oh. Bugging out. Okay. I need to do that. And that. Yeah, it seems like there's a bit of a bug with uh, formations kind of forming up. Especially when you group them as well. Hopefully, that will all be fixed in the uh, final version of the game out on Thursday. Actually, trebuchet. I don't think where they're going to deploy. I'd just like to draw them over into this open, these open fields here. I guess we want them in the middle at the moment. Let's, let's have them slightly on the left. Got flammable round as well, so we'll do that. Strategist, stick back with you. Grand guy are awesome champion. He is rather weakened, so we probably need to be a bit careful with him. And Jen go there. And we've now got our sword guards. Let's group them in threes. Shield wall with them as well. Yeah, the formation sort of bug seems to only happen with spears, it seems. Maybe it's just the turtle form formation. Our cavalry's up to 26 on each unit. That's all good. We'll send them up towards the forest over there. Try and surprise them, because we just want to hold back with that cavalry to then attack the enemy archers. Right. They are all formed up on this ridge. They do have a unit of cavalry. That's yeah, on the right flank. I might want to pull a spear unit out then to go deal with that. In fact, they're over there. Let's just... Well, first off, let me send my cavalry. I imagine they should be hidden if they go here. Send them over that way. Can't draw them. We can't... We don't really want to nestle back in between that farm there, but we could use that farm on our right flank. Of hold the line quite nicely. Let's form them up there. And if we pop you guys... Okay, we could do two there. And in fact, I'm going to swap that spear unit just to watch for that cavalry. Where's the cavalry moved? I think the cavalry's hidden. I can't see it at the moment. Also, is my trebuchet in range? It is not, so we do need to move forward with the trebs. Okay, let's move the trebs to about here. Scratch just to there. We'll send you guys this way. Have those spears anchor the right. And then you guys. Round to about there. Good. Cavalry is not hidden. Send them into the trees, please. Then Jen himself. Let's go in between these guys. I'll probably dismount him because it looks like their whole front line is just spears and halberds. They want him dismounted and then charging on in as well. It's looking good, though. Just need to get the trebuchets into position, so let's fast forward it. I love these formations, though. They look absolutely awesome. Archers, yeah, you're not on skirmish mode, that's fine. Yeah, as they get closer, we'll pull my archers 
Mm, pull them back or push, push forward with the infantry. We'll see. Right, we can hit play now. Trebuchet can fire. Let's go straight for their captain. Bombard them. Oh, crispy captains. That's what we want. How's my cav? Good. Oh, there's some banter being thrown about. Yeah, we need to wait for them to advance, leave their archers behind, and then we can swing in with the cavalry. Nice. They're going into loose formation. I'm hoping it'll only take a few more shots and it'll draw them to us. Where is that cavalry gone? Can I hit those archers at the back? Because they're pretty well clustered. I'm guessing the cavalry is just hidden in the trees. I can't see it. I'm hoping it hasn't redeployed to the other flank. Seeing my spears. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I think they just have to wait until they lose a certain number of men. And they sort of charge forward. Yeah, that's what they're doing right now. Here we go. Oh, those archers. Yeah, and the cavalry still over this side. That's fine. Won't reveal my cavalry just yet. And we'll leave my archers out in front just so they can get the first volley off. Right, with that being the case, we'll move my infantry up. Should still be able to lock them in here. Hopefully we can get that cavalry. I just want to see these guys quickly form up. Nice. I'm just going to see if they brace for the charge as well. Right. My archer should be firing now, so... We can advance forward. With everybody else. Um, let's just mount some gen. Let's swing that cavalry up over here now. I think these guys are pretty well committed. Ah, damn that cavalry. Coming on round. Trebuchet is firing on those guys. Those spears go. Use your flames of the Phoenix. You guys round to flank. Out of shield wall. So you might want to keep that shield wall up. Center is totally open. That's fine. But that cavalry's doing a number on us. Cavalry in you go. Oh, yes, there's the break. Spears just charging on out. Yeah, press back. Nice cavalry, nice. Chop them all down. Trebuchet is now out of, out of ammo. Putting their cavalry back. Be careful with my champion. Back in there. What if I can pull him through them a little bit and then activate his ability? There we go. That's it, cavalry. Try and get my arch to take out their cavalry over here. 
Absolutely smashing them on the uh, on the left. That's it, archers. Go off their raiders. Men are breaking this side, so he's taking the biggest hit. Oh, he wants a duel. Go on, then. It says we can win. Might lose that cavalry unit. It's stayed engaged for too long. Oh, he's very strong. Use our ability. Finding Fury. Oh, that's how we do it. So much damage. Right. Over here. Infantry, you need to get back. And Jen, we need to get you over there. And he is victorious. Sorry, I didn't see the, the ending there. Absolute tank. They've now broken. Keep pushing forward. Go, go, go. It's going to be a costly battle, but... We should get this now. It's swinging in our favour. But what little cavalry we had, I think they've done pretty darn well. The thing is, we only just need to break these guys because it's a settlement battle. So once they break, it's game over. And I'm pretty sure this is their only settlement and their only army. So this is them down in one. Honestly, really surprised my cavalry's still up right now. <laughs> Victory! A great cost. Battlefield littered with the dead. The tiger rises stronger than ever. A Pyrrhic victory. Well, it was predicted to be a defeat. I'll take it. Cavalry, 225 kills, 329. Beautiful. 629 kills of the trebuchet. Gorgeous stuff. Oh, lovely bit of post-battle loot as well. Get some heroism. And we will occupy. Commandery and Conquer. <laughs> nice. Yep, his faction's been destroyed. Good, good. Occupation. So, let's see. Oh, he's got a city. Uh, he also has farmland. That's his army currently. What's this? I imagine the city's got. Oh, actually, okay. It's not been crazy. Hmm. Can he reach me? He can start moving towards me. Imagine likely though, if he's got that, he's got a city and a farmland, he's probably going to build up towards me. I think it might be wise to peace out with Yu Biao for a bit. We can always go after him later. 
We've now got more food as well. And if we peace out with Liu Biao, then that's our sort of northern border secured for the moment. Besides the uh, Han over there. But it would mean that we could consolidate our starting commandery. I think that's going to be a bit of a slog. Considering we're going to have to wait a little bit to get a full force ready to be able to challenge that city. So yeah, I think let's see what sort of deal. Yeah, he's still willing to do it. That's when I find out the piecing out with him doesn't make his vassals piece out, but that would make no sense. So let's negotiate. Oh yeah, he's well in favour of it. Um, yeah, trade. Give me some territory. No. Um, we will just request regular payments. Can we go for five hundred? That's a little bit too much. Unless I've got um, a form coalition. I don't have any ancillaries. Try 440. Nice. 441. 42. Push it one more. 43. Yes, there we go. Sweet. So, yes, we'll take peace for 443 for 10 turns, please. Propose deal. Yeah, and now we're just at war with Dongmin and the Han Empire. Good. Yeah. Now, not at war with him. That's good. We can actually get some tra quick deal. No one around us to trade. Why can't we do that? For this turn, both factions must have free trade route and also share. Oh, he doesn't have any free. That'd be why. Is there anyone. Oh, he ye. Uh, no, we can't. We, yellow turbans, we can only do war. Um, I'm guessing there's just no one around us. That's why we can't trade with anyone. But that should put our income up rather nicely for 10 turns, which will allow us to start working on a new army. Quickly take some more land, which will allow us to continue to keep that army going. Uh, we won't pop any of those in there because I actually want to recruit both of them, although we can probably only raise one of them. Soon, sure. Let's bring him in. He starts with Lancers. Nice. And we'll bring in um, Lady Wu next turn. So who would go in with them nicely? Oh, we could bring in our Sentinel. Yeah, actually. But strategists are just super, super useful. Where's this guy from? Oh, no past loyalties. Hmm. He's level three as well. I could bring him in then. So we'll leave Cheng Pu behind. We'll take Lady Wu. I haven't had a commander at, uh, out just yet. Although she also specializes in cavalry, right? So actually, maybe go Cheng Pu and leave Lady Wu behind. Because he'll specialize in infantry, yeah. Four turns till he's done. Okay. What can we get in here? Nothing at the moment. Costly. It's a few turns at least to build up an initial force. We need to then find out who's got what. The trade port has a small force, but we can probably march on that with uh, Sun Jian. If we wait until these guys come back from convalescing and then move, that should be fine. Cool. Let's end the turn. Tung declares war. Okay, on Dongming. We're all going after him now. Eavesdropper. Oh, yeah, we can do spies, can't we? Uh, we could go for that one, but I was thinking of bringing you into my other army. Got a grudge against Dongming. Well, don't send you to Dongming then, I guess. We'll hold off on the spy for a little bit because it's going to cost more to have a spy running at the moment, and we want to. Uh, we want to focus on our forces at the moment. Expanding. So let's recruit in Cheng Pu. He'll bring in some infantry for us. He doesn't cost a crazy amount either. Nice. They can do, he can do that and remain administrator. Nice. Yeah, they've got a small force over there. Um, we're not actually mustering anyone, are we? So actually, yeah, I should move. 
Okay, where's the crossing? I can go across there on land. But I can just sail across and attack from... Keep going that way, I guess. Probably I can attack from the river. Building the land registry office for more food. Good. Oh, we can put another... Yeah, let's get that in there for now. Probably won't be able to go for three characters, but two for now will do. We can get mercenaries, so... Yeah. If we had all that money, wow. Because you instantly get that whole force ready to go. Yeah, we have nowhere near that much money. We won't be able to support the force either. Yon Chao? Alright. Rude. Okay. Yon Chao declares war against us. I guess because we've... Do we just attract more enemies to us over time because we've got the Jade Seal? Ah, oh, I guess we can invoke the council as well. We need to hire a character. Well, actually, that is... That's fine, because I was planning on doing that with a strategist, but it's probably going to have to wait a few turns. Ye. Not at war with you currently. Please say you're not going to attack me. That would be pretty devastating right now. He is at war uh, with you on shoes, so hopefully he's going up that way. Um, form coalition. Go die. Um, I mean, he's right up here, right? Spreading out. It might act as a blocker against Yuan Chao. My last coalition went swimmingly, didn't it? So, uh, let's take a look here. And I get received marriage. Oh, they're air. Mine. Actors will stay in our faction. They would actually... Get on relatively well, it seems. Could do that. I think we'll start with the coalition first. Yeah, here we go. We can even get some money out of him. Oh, no, not that much money. Okay, let's try. I don't think I saw 70 coming up there as an option. Too much. 69. Sixty-seven. Thank you. Proposed deal. Yeah, let's coalition up. Faction grouping. Oh, yeah, faction grouping. Coalition that defends the West. Sure. Who is he at war with? Oh, Yuan Shu. You know, well, Yuan Shu screwed me over. On that, that's fine. Yeah. Can we see his plans now? Yeah, we can. He's about to get squashed. Oh, he's reclaimed the imperial city of Liaoyang. Hmm. He's got his farmland, but that's all he's got so far. We'll keep an eye on him, see what he's doing. Yeah, I know I need to destroy both of those factions, but for now I think we need to consolidate and Yeah, going after him, it's not gonna... It's, it's gonna be a struggle. Uh, we don't have a on that so we will come back to doing that once we've secured our starting commandery we go for another reform uh, income from all sources yeah that'd be that'd be grand yes please there's still got a few more turns to muster we've, we've got to wait until you guys are at full strength, I reckon, for this. Um, you don't like Unsure. So, don't really want to bring in you. Yeah, you're you're keen to join, but I don't think we've got the money just yet. So, I have enough for cavalry either. Let's just focus on getting some infantry. We could go for some archers just to tide us over. I said, let's go for that, and then we, we march with this army. And that's going to have to do us, because we're going to have to wait four turns anyway before we move on one of these locations anyway. Uh, 
And South South declares war on us. Oh, goody. Oh, what's this? Uh, call allies for aid. Call for aid. Unlikely, though. Central allies. Coalition to assist you in this war. All who vote in favour will declare war upon the aggressor. Oh, nice. I mean, yes, he says no. Positive factors. And what's the 7.9 total value? I'm assuming he bowed out of that. We'll find out when we get back to our turn. Dong Min. You having a good old think about something? All right, well, they're all heading for me. Oh, there's Lu Bu. I do my proposal. He'll declare war, request for military support against Yuan Shu. I'll receive. I mean, I don't really want everyone at war with me. Uh, <laughs> um, also, I don't know if you actually did decide to help me out or not. Yuan Shu should have plenty of enemy potential enemies, though. He actually quite like. He still likes me, even though we did stuff. I'm going to reject it for the moment. Very well. Goodbye. Let's find out if he honoured my call to arms. Because I'm getting a feeling he did not. No, he did not support. So yeah, it said 7.9. So yeah, he doesn't join. We're still in a coalition though. That's okay. Um, Ming maybe would take peace. Who else is South South at war with? Hmm. He's looking to... Well, I say he's looking to expand South. Maybe. He'll have to go through He Yi. Hopefully. It'll deter him a little bit. Into the river. Okay, we can't strike till next turn. Book of Songs. Give you that. And yeah, let's give you that as well. Heirloom spear. Nice. You've got the jewel jan. No accessories for you. No extra mounts for anyone, unfortunately, at the moment. How long have we got to wait? Three more turns to get these guys fully mustered. He's leveled up. Um, say I'm using. You're just at court at the moment, aren't you? Why? So why can't I send him off to be? Why can't I send him off to be a spy? He. Doing a oh uh what noble oh that's why he's stimulating markets that's why but we could send him off then to be our spy he's got ten turns left of doing that Lady Wu seeing as we're not sending you out at the moment let's deploy you here to give us extra income from peasantry because it's our farmland pop her in there. Right. Let's end the turn, then we'll strike that trade port. And soon Shur's army can hopefully get moving next episode. Oh, they actually sailed away. Even easier for us. A decisive victory. Yeah, let's go for the delegate, the order resolve. We lose 179. Gain some heroism and occupy. Friends, good, good. One's getting nice and pally pally. Can upgrade that straight away. There's not really much point throwing any more troops in here right now because we want to march. No, I do want to march next turn. That's when all the infantry 
I'll buy you guys so it's till two turns. Oh, can we move straight on that craftsman as well? By the looks of things, we can. So from here, there is... Where's the, where's the town for that one? Can't see it. Got lots more that we could go after. We need to build up before we go after them. So, Sun Jian, I guess we could bring you down here to help one out. Or I think probably push on over here and grab this iron mine and fishing port. Those commanderies for the moment. We'll need to keep an eye on what else is going on. I mean, we the other option is we bring Sun Jian over here and go for the iron mine and small city. Then that's pretty hard to defend right now with just our scattered forces. Let's finish you guys off by getting a unit in there. I think I'll keep that, that cavalry there for the time being. Seems pretty, pretty decent. We can upgrade this as well. Income peasantry. You now I don't have enough of that trade port. Let's go for it. Chuck it in there. And end of the turn. So where are they going to go? Anywhere they go with that small force is going to get taken out. So I can only imagine they're going to pull it back to one of their settlements. Oh, look at that. And in turn, where no one declares war on me. Ah, he ye declares war on Sao Sao. Yes, he ye. You go after him. Do it. New faction capital. Ooh, okay. On shoot. Can push back a little bit. Oh, dear. My coalition is probably going to get stomped out pretty quickly. Book of the Mountains and Seas. Can I Ooh, yeah, we want that. Um, does that have to be for the army? I'm going to give you that one because you're leading the army. And we'll give Cheng Pu a book of songs. Right, I know we've got another turn to wait, but I want to see what's going on over here. Oh, and they've got a force. Standing in our path. And the armor craftsman has a garrison. Some pretty pretty decent guys. A strike. Are you going to bring them all in? Oh, you are. Oh, dear. With our inferior forces, yeah, we will get wrecked. Okay, we've got to withdraw from that then. Didn't realize they're in reinforcement range. I guess that's why they're standing there. We can try and catch them out, though, and go into an ambush of our own. Otherwise, we've got to grab some more troops before we can keep pushing then. Can't upgrade that yet. Don't have enough money. But let's expand, grab this iron mine. Copper mine, a weapons craftsman as well. Fishing port. Yeah, because I don't need to worry about you guys because the lumberyard garrison is great. And the town itself. Yeah, plus they've got walls. So we shouldn't need to worry about that. They can't do any major damage. Uh, we are mustering these guys, though. But let's just keep on going. It has their public order. Faction support. How long till the faction support gets there? Seven turns till full faction support. Okay. It'll be fine. Right, let's do one more in turn, and then I think we're going to wrap things up for today's episode. Ah, they're pulling back. Damn. Okay, well, let's maybe ignore the... Oh, what's this? Arranged marriage between Wang Guang. Um, I'm going to reject it for now. I mean, we definitely we definitely want to get him married, but I feel like we've got to, as our heir, we've got to make the right choice. Another, another noble birth. Good, good. A brown thoroughbred. Good. Yeah, we can push on them, but we're still going to draw out the 
I'm across from Garrison, which is pretty decent. So, our other option is to go for the tea house first. But, that is where I'm going to wrap things up for now. I'll let you guys decide. Where should we send the little conqueror? Let me know down in the comment section. Until the next one, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, Tech Prime on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one, ciao for now.